Here we have the outside video for your mohawk. So we start with the cab. So your bonnet pull to open your bonnet is here. Underneath this seat you have a jacket. The diesel fill, which uses the ignition key, is there. So to open your gas locker, there is a little pull handle here. Pull that up, that will open your gas locker enough. So you can pull it all the way up. So inside you've got your straps to hold your bottle in place, you've got your gas regulator and your propane tail. Just remember this is a left-handed thread, so you have to turn it to the left with a spanner against the ball to tighten it. Shut it, pull it down, and then just release it. So, your central locking, locking on your hub door, push, push the bottom button to open it, and then bring the step out as well. Got a uh, D handle here, which you can use as a handle or over your door. External barbecue point there. So you've got your toilet set here. So if you can push this button in, it's open, push them both in together. Pull this up, then you can bring it all the way out. So it does have wheels, and this handle does extend. So if it was heavy, you could wheel it. When you get to the cassette disposal place, twist that out, you twist that cap off, you tilt it while pressing that orange button which will release a vacuum and get everything out. There are measurements on this cap so you can add blue chemicals, put them in and it's good to go again, just slide it in place. So you've got, this is your cow cover I was talking earlier, you have to remove this to use your, your boiler. So what you do, push it down from the top and out from the bottom and yeah when you're not using it, good to keep it covered. So, twist these to open it. So you've got access to your rear garage. So, over here is your pump, and then you've got your boiler drain here. So if you flip this up, that's gonna drain all the water from your boiler. Just remember, you wanna flick it down when you wanna use it. So to get your oil in out, get your oil and winder. Hook it in the slot over here. Then wind it out. So, what you're going to do, these legs kind of spring. No, they don't. You, you're going to pull it out from this side here, just a little bit. And then you can release it, bring it all the way down, twist this little thumb nut to extend the leg, and then you're going to twist it the other way to secure it. You can uh, use the holes to uh, put some tent pegs in there to keep it more stable. To put it away, pretty much do everything in reverse. You just want to make sure the foot of the leg's that position, line up the bracket, and then you push it in the same way you got it out. It should all go in flush, and then you can wind it away. Release your stick, if you push it up and turn it 90 degrees, it should come out. So, to lock these doors, if you push them in, turn it, get your key, turn it again. No, you'll be able to push it in. If it stays in, it's locked, and you'll notice when you open it, it'll pop out. Then you can turn it to open it. It's your security here. Spare wall is behind there. These lockers are the same. We have painted that for you. So, this is where you go fill up with fresh water. You can spin this around, it's locked. But when you do get your key in there and turn it, 
Now if you push it in a little bit and turn it, it'll pop out. You can put your fresh hose in there and fill it up. To drain your fresh water, you've got two taps here. One will drain it completely and the other will drain it. It will leave about 25% in there for you. You might want to leave a little bit when you travel so you can use the toilets and wash your hands and stuff. External shower point there. We have vents for your fridge here. There are winter covers you can get, so if it goes below 10 degrees, you can clip them on and it'll help your fridge run better in cold weather. If it was really hot, say over 30 degrees, you can remove these vents. If you get a little flat screwdriver and poke these up and you wiggle them off, that'll give your fridge better circulation at the back and it will run better in the hot weather. So, Underneath here, you've got 200 amp leisure batteries. We've got your mains hook up here. So you can plug your mains hook up, you can run the wire down here, and then you can lock it away. This will be connected. So it uses that key to lock these. Now you can't bring this up. There is a grey tap down here. This is how you're going to drain your wastewater. There's a little handle. Just pull that in line with the pipe, then it will drain. So that is it for the outside video.